Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Modern Options. Today, I wanna to go over a concept that I've talked about in some of my previous videos about moving up my stop. It's a pretty simple concept. So whenever I make a zero DTE trade, you all know that I place my stop order in right away. That's something I'll keep repeating in all these videos. In order to successfully trade zero DTE, you have to have a stop. If you don't, you are going to get a max loss multiple times and wipe out all the gains that you've made. So as soon as I place orders, I go ahead and put in a 2x stop. So what this concept is of moving your stop up throughout the day that as you gain profit, I don't want to give all of that profit back. So I will slowly but surely move up my stop so it's not quite a 2x loss and I will actually keep some of the premium that I receive for the day. So let's go ahead and recap this past week and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we got think or swim open here. Let's go back to Monday's trade. So, all right, Monday, I ended up doing a call credit spread. And this was the day that all the fears from Evergrande, the Chinese mortgage company came out of defaulting on their loan payments and everybody went into a massive tumble after that. There was also some fear of what was gonna come out of the Fed's meeting on Tuesday that led into Wednesday with Jerome Powell. So big red candle at the open and I just saw this continuous downtrend going and the Evergrande seemed to be pretty serious. It was in all the headlines of all the news articles that were out there. So I went ahead and opened this call credit spread at 10.06 a.m., sold the 4,400 and bought the 4,405, took in 120 in premium. That just shows you how much premium it was inflated that day. I was still able to go about 30 strikes out of the money and still get well over a, a normal size premium. So 120 and already it started to decay pretty quickly. So it was a good confirmation for me after I opened up that call credit spread. And you can see right here, this was at 1026. It already depreciated for 50% of the profit that I would have made on this trade. So I took in 120, it was already floating around $60 unrealized at this point. So what this means is I moved my stop up to break even. So I took in $1.20, that means right away I would put in a stop at 240 because that's 2x the premium. But since it decayed 50% profit already, I moved that stop from 240 up to 120 now, the same exact entry that I had. So at the bare minimum for the day, I would not lose any money. I would just come out at break even. That's the concept of moving this stop up to make sure that you don't actually go backwards, but you can stay level. Better to not make any money than to lose money. So it continued to decay throughout the day pretty nicely and didn't even go up and try to retest my call credit spread. And at this point, I was floating around 75 to 85% profit unrealized. So what I did was I moved my stop up to 50% profit. So that means no matter what happens throughout the day, I was going to guarantee that I made 50% profit if I got stopped out. But luckily for me, I was able to just let it expire. Even with this uprise uh, during power hour, it did not go close to the 4,400 and I got to keep it all and it expired worthless. But this was just a little extra safety net to say that, hey, if I do get stopped out, it's okay. It's still a win and I still made 50% of the profit, which for today was over double what I usually take in, somewhere around 60 or 70. So I was fine with taking in 60 dollars which is only 50 percent profit for the day also guys for these stop orders i don't just do a stop i do a stop limit so what that means is once the mark of the spread hits your stop it will then place a limit order so if we read this at 1301 so 101 i put in a stop limit order at a 60 cents stop with a 65 cents limit that means that once the mark hits 60 cents a limit order of 65 would be entered. And I usually don't make them the same. I make them either five to 10 cents more. That way, if it's starting to fall really fast, I don't want it to get to 60, put in a limit at 60, and then continue to blow past it at 70, 80. And before I know it, my stop order did place itself, but it was moving way too fast in order to actually be stopped out. So I just feel more comfortable with my risk tolerance, leaving it at like a five to 10 cents gap and that way I know that I'm not gonna be, it's not just gonna blow past. Sorry about that, everybody. My wife just brought me home some Taco Bell, which reminds me of today's sponsor, me, because I'm not famous enough yet. So let's go ahead and go into Wednesday. So on Wednesday, 
Evergrande was going to ensure investors that they were going to pay all of their loans back and they were not going to default on them. And the overall sentiment of the day was very bullish. The House also passed a bill that would prevent a government shutdown and everyone was eating that up. So today I opened a put credit spread at 10.07. I sold the 43.50 and bought the 43.45 and I took in 60 cents worth of premium. I started at 70, tried to get filled at 65, and eventually got filled at 60. So um, it continued to rise throughout the day, and you can see right here at 11.19, I was able to move my stop up to 50% of the premium received. So I saw that it continued to rise throughout the day, and at this point, I think I had made somewhere around 25% unrealized gain, and I moved it up. So if we go back here, you can see I moved it up to 90 cents. And that just means that and if I did get stopped out, I wasn't going to lose a full 2x of the premium. I would only lose 1.5x of the premium. So that just guarantees it wouldn't be as big of a loss. This trend continued until about right before noon, and then it kind of stabled out, started to trend back downward a little bit. At this point, I had gained at least 50% of my premium unrealized. So it was about 150 right before this Fed meeting was about to happen. And I moved my stop to break even. So just like on Monday's trade, all I was doing was guaranteeing that if I was to get stopped out, I wasn't going to lose money. I would just be stopped out at break even. But unfortunately, right when, right before the meeting happened, I did get stopped out. These candles continue to trend a little bit lower. And then this big candle that happened right at the opening of the Fed meeting. But right before it, I got stopped out at 60 cents was my limit order, but it actually filled me for 50. So um, you can't see right here. You can show on my mobile version. I got filled at 50 cents, so I actually made 10 bucks on the day, even though I got stopped out at break even. But with commissions and fees, I netted like five bucks. So it would have expired worthless, but it is what it is, and I got five bucks out of it still. So let's go ahead and move on to Friday. So on Friday, there is more Evergrande fears that had come back with this big opening red candle about them actually, they didn't make their payment like they said that they were going to. So these fears kind of linger throughout the day, but tech and oil kind of kept the boat afloat. And I decided to do a call credit spread today, and I sold a 44.70 and bought a 44.75. And I probably could have done an iron condor this day, but with those fears looming, I did not want it to continue to trend a lot lower. So that was the risk I was willing to take for the day. So I opened this trade for 75 cents. I tried to fill it for 75 cents. Then I tried to add 70 and I got filled. I sold the 44.70, bought the 44.75, and this continued to remain neutral throughout the day. I didn't want to risk having my week end with a negative trade. So it was already trading at 10 cents at this point. So I could lock in $60 worth of gain. I didn't want to risk anything going into power hour right on a Friday. So I just went ahead and closed it out for 10 cents and then just took all the risk off the table for the day. So today I didn't necessarily move my stops up. I don't do that every single day, just on any days I feel where it might be more volatile or it might actually get stopped at 2x where I just don't want to lose money. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. If this video was helpful to you at all, it would be really helpful to me if you would just give it a like, nothing else. That's all I ask from you guys. And let me know down in the comments if there's any other topics or videos that you would like to see in the future, or if there's something I'm explaining that you're not quite getting, just let me know, and I'd love to help you guys out. Let's see how long we can keep this zero DTE train going, and until next time, I'll see you in the next one.